Heritage State Park in Georgia. We have been to Walmart to pick up more dog food and lunch and meat because I didn't pack enough doggy food. I didn't think they'd eat as much as they're eating. I guess it's a lot of hard work to feed dogs on a camping trip. Just ask Happy later. He's been exhausted on this trip. Last night, Chrissy looked like she was dead. She was so tired. It's hard work for them to go camping. But the view from the RV driving down the road is gorgeous. You know why? Because there's no freaking palm trees in Georgia. I think palm trees are ugly. I haven't seen one. I told Mom that the last... same green colored trees, the only exception, that there's no palm trees. No, nope, trees are prettier in Georgia than they are in Florida. Same color green. No, nope, it's different. It's gotta be different. It, this just looks so ugly. Maybe it's because all those palm trees in Florida are mixed in between. Those shrub palms are mixed in between all the big trees and all I can see is ugliness. In like three quarters of a mile, turn right on Ennis Road Northeast. Thank you, Sam. Because I think that palm trees are so ugly. My has issues. theory is that God created the earth in seven days and on the last day he got to Florida and he was tired and he just scribbled him in. Think about it. scribbled in the palm fronds. How are those Makes sense. Those trees. I don't know. They just are. Without palm trees, you Turn right on Ennis Road Northeast. Oh, there's my turn. Yeah, because there's no sign that says Ennis Road Northeast. Southeast, then take the first left. See, it's not in the middle. It's only on the where that the car. It's on the yellow too. I also thought, well, maybe it was they do it for traction. That's what I think. You know, maybe they wiggle, squiggle the stuff on the road for traction. I don't on know. Old roads. That's so people. I think. Uh, that hang weird. in there, y'all. I'm pause you for a little bit. Just in the middle. Yes, because somebody had a garbage can there. I have a question. When a sign says no trucks, and you're an RV that's 21 feet long and being in boxing like a boxer, are you considered a truck or not? Because we're on a road that said no trucks through. So I just wonder if we're doing something wrong. If we get a ticket, then we know Ooh, we are. We're doing, we're going to go down. Whee! Oh, whatever, Katie. Hey, I'm here instead of at Disney World. Let me enjoy the going down. We're not going down we enough to make it go Oh, it's a dead squirrel. Mm. It's pretty down in here. It'd be nice to live out this way. Peace and quiet. <laughs> Whatever, it's goofball next to me. It's pretending like she's in a uh, roller coaster. That is a... That's the 
but shut sh- sh- up. <laughs> In one Stop half running. mile, turn right on Fall Line Freeway. Fall Line Freeway. Probably just another road, too. Probably not even a freeway. These well, I are paid bills. These are very narrow. These are very narrow roads, guys. Okay, pause me for a bit. We should reach Brigham State Park by 2:22 if we do not stop for lunch. But we'll probably stop for lunch. So I'll let y'all know what's up later. Okay, we are back on the interstate. Uh, arrival time now says 2:21, but we're probably going to stop at Gats. We're probably going to stop at a rest area and walk with the puppies, the babies, and get a sandwich. Makes a sandwich, so. We're headed back out. This is really pretty country out here in Georgia. I've had the GoPro on a few times because I'm trying to get y'all some um, highway shots of the scenery. It's been really pretty. Again, it's pretty because they ain't got no ugly palm trees. But there's been, I've seen cops everywhere this morning. I've really tried to maintain my speed because we went some 40 and 50 mile per hour at back roads or something, back highways or something. And we found out that yes, the, the squiggly lines on the highway are some sort of polymer tar type patching system that they use a machine that looks like a vacuum and go along and they do it because it's like 2,000 some dollars per mile to do it that way rather than 60 some thousand dollars a mile to tear up the roads. Now you see, Florida needs to get an example from Georgia on that because Florida's always tearing up our roads. I mean, we got road construction pretty much 24 seven. But now we're back on the road still. Until later, hang in, I am. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Janie's Crazy Life. We are at we're at Reed Bingham, yeah. Reed Bingham State Park in Georgia, and this to me looked like a little like church thing, like a little cha- outdoor chapel. But it has a dedication to it. A little stage area. It's got a little fire pit, and it's dedicated to. I'll see if I can get close. It's dedicated to C.J. and. Georgia Powell, and I don't know what the abbreviation SUPT stands for, but it's done in 1968. And in the top corner here, it has the initials NCHA on the left top corner right here, and then on that top right corner it says GSA. So I don't know what that stands for. I know that's some sort of military. Um, abbreviation but that's what this placard says but it's a stone platform with like a granite top stone top and then when you're on the podium there's like three benches there I mean you could have a little church service out here or we'll have a nature talk it's over by one of the campsites when we first came in the other day, I thought maybe there was a preacher staying in the campsite next to it, and they had a Sunday morning church service out here. But it's across from campsite number 12, I believe, because that's us right over there. We're in campsite number 10. All of our neighbors have left this morning. And it looks like more people are packing up and leaving. So we're going to wander around the park. Hang in there. And this is the boat ramp area. And there's a little gazebo. There's a little goose on the other side of that tree. And that's the kids, uh, fishing. They have a kids fishing rodeo area right there. For like uh, it says, no fishing. These ponds are for kids fishing rodeos on Pacific Bates. Check at the visitor center. This is the gazebo. Stay, Pris. And there is a, it's wet, 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 wet. Like so water. 
And see, there's a goosey there. There's a goose. Hello, goose. Hello, goose. See the goose walking? On the other side of that bridge there, we're going to go across that bridge. On the other side of the lake is the beach area where you swim. There might be alligators present. Even in the pits. Katie had this theory that I should go swimming while there was a lot of people this weekend. Because if there was a, an alligator present, it might go after smaller bait. Backing up. Now we're going forward. Look, Katie paddle boats. No. But this is the boat ramp area. And they had the same paddle boats as we did at Hamburg State Park. The closes from seven and sunset. There's another walkout water pier. You can walk out to that pier and see the water. I think we're going down it with our bikes. I'm going down it on my bike. Yeah. dam there beyond those buoy things, those big coins bobby things. The water's going down. Is that why there's a way out of the park from over the bridge? Because that camper keeps going. over the other bridge now. See, there's a throffiness happened. I don't know what that's called. I don't know the proper terminology for it. But there's the dam. I can hear the cat. Uh, there's a seafood... A house. I think it's called the Catfish House. You hear it in the background. You can come around that before you get into the bridge. Okay. It's called a little. 
Blue River in Hewitt County. This is Little River in Coquit County. C O L Q U I T T County. Not a little river. I guess it's a little river. I don't know how I have not seen a lot of rivers in my life. This is the bridge. Katie's all the way down the other end. The grandma's behind me. There's some more of the river over there. The railroad tracks will show you when we come back around the other way. I'm going to pause you until I get to the swimming hole now that you've seen this. I mean, here's a big covered pavilion area, huge area, that you can have, like a big, there's picnic tables all the way throughout, too. But there's a big pavilion area here that you could easily, easily have a party at. I mean, you could have a party and people could still be underneath there. I wonder what that finish line stands for. It's a huge pavilion, huge. Got stained glass windows, but the outside is nasty. The inside is cute. See, look, this is the water on the other side of the well. There's a railroad track down in there. We get that frothy stuff. It looks like chocolate, hot chocolate froth, or a milkshake. See, it's around the trees. Okay, y'all, I'm about to lose SD card stuff, so until later, when I put this video together. There is a playground area when you first get on the loop. It's right there. It's got a slide. It's got a multi-jungle gym slide, everything. And it looks like it's got... Hello. Looks like it's got a little climbing wall for kids and swings. <laughs> a little parking area for the playground area. And a little toilet house, potty house. And then there's a little uh, a puck off, mini golf. Right there. I think it's five dollars for two hours per person. Katie thinks we're gonna do it before we leave. But a little, I don't. Maybe a little mini golf setup. Doesn't look thrilling to me, but whatever. We'll see. We'll see. There's a picnic shelter area back in there that looks like somebody's using. I deleted some videos. I'm um, some stuff real fast. There's a dump station. Of course, everybody needs to know about the dump station. Hopefully, I did not delete the first half of all this. Because then it's all over. Another shelter area. There's about three or four, four shelter, four or five shelters areas that you could come out and use. We're in loop campsite one. We're going to take the babies back to the camper, put them in some air conditioning, give them some water. And then Grandma's going to put on a jacket so she don't get sunburned. Well, a lightweight, t -sh a lightweight long sleeve shirt so she don't get sunburned. It's called the Buzzard. Oh, that's called the Buzzard Roost. It's an informational area. You can rent a bicycle there. If the office isn't open, the campground host will help you out. Roundhouse there. Alright, we're going back to the camper. So, hold up later.